ولقد نصركم الله ببدر وأنتم أدلة فاتقوا الله لعلكم تشكرون Seventy miles southwest of Medina lies the Valley of Badr. Visitors here today will come across a plain of land containing the graves of fourteen men who were buried here, martyrs of the Battle of Badr, a battle that altered the balance of power in Arabia and changed the course of world history. The persecution of the Muslims in Mecca had forced them out of the city and into Medina. In the two years since the migration, the hostility of the Meccans continued, and they remained in illegal possession of all the property and wealth the Muslims had left behind in Mecca. As a result, when a caravan led by Abu Sufyan was on its way back from Syria, the Prophet ﷺ led a small force of his companions to intercept the caravan, to restore the Muslims their rightful property that had been illegally taken from them. Abu Sufyan learned of these plans and sent word to Mecca, asking for protection. The Meccans responded, assembling an army of 1,000 men. As the Muslims left Medina, they stopped in a plain called Harat al suqya which included the well of Abu Unaba. The Prophet ﷺ made wudu, ablution, with the waters of the well and drank from it. Here, the Prophet ﷺ inspected the ranks of the army. While encamped here, the Prophet ﷺ made dua, supplication, asking that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow blessings on the city of Medina and its people and grant them safety at the place where Masjid Suqiyah stands today. As the Muslims moved closer towards Badr, which lay on the main caravan route, Abu Sufyan diverted his caravan to the coast and successfully evaded the Muslim force. Though the caravan was no longer in danger, the war hawks of the Quraysh demanded nothing short of a direct military confrontation with the Muslims. Despite the efforts of the Prophet ﷺ to secure a peaceful resolution, the Quraysh rejected all offers and conflict was now inevitable. The Prophet ﷺ then addressed his companions, asking if they were willing and ready for a military encounter with the Quraysh. In particular, the Prophet ﷺ wanted to gauge the feelings of the Ansar, the Medinan helpers, who in their agreement with him were not bound by any agreement to protect the Prophet ﷺ outside of Medina. Sa'd ibn Mu'ad, one of the two chief leaders of the Ansar, responded saying, By him who has sent you with the message of truth, if you take us right to the sea, we will ride with you. This sentiment was representative of the degree to which the Muslims loved and trusted the Prophet ﷺ. Even if it meant their death, they would continue to follow the Prophet ﷺ and follow the path of Islam. On the 17th of Ramadan, in the year 2 after Hijrah, the Muslim and Meccan army met in the valley of Badr. The Muslims encamped at the wells of Badr, ensuring their control over the water supply. Their army consisted of only 313 men, 2 horses, and 70 camels. Before them was a well-armed Meccan force of 1,000 men with 200 horses and 100 camels. Despite being outnumbered, with the determination of their faith and the help of angels taking part in the fight, the Muslims overran the Quraysh and gained a crushing victory. Most of the leading figures of the Quraysh and the Mustahzi'un, the ones who used to mock and ridicule the Prophet ﷺ in Mecca, were killed in the battle. The Prophet ﷺ dispatched his two companions, Abdullah ibn Rawaha and Zayd ibn al-Harith, to go back to Medina to tell the people of the victory. Zayd ibn al-Harith on the Prophet ﷺ's camel al-Qaswa entered Medina through al-Musalla and gave the people the good news. Nearly two weeks later, on the first of Shawwal, marking the end of Ramadan, the Prophet ﷺ led the first Eid al-Fitr prayers in the Musalla area, in the area known today as Masjid Ali, named after the companion Ali, who later would himself lead the Eid prayers here. The area has several other masajid, each marking an area where the Prophet ﷺ is reported to have led the Eid Salah, including Masjid Abu Bakr, where Abu Bakr as-Siddiq also led the Eid prayers during his Khalifate, 
and Masjid Omar. In celebrating the festival of Eid, the Muslims raise their voices in praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in recognition of the divine blessings and support that had been given to them. With the victory at Badr, the Muslims now had established themselves as a viable community in the Arabian Peninsula.